In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Louis de Montfort. Um, and that hence the Mary investment. Because St. Louis de Montfort um, offered himself totally to Jesus through Mary. And uh, his work, True Devotion to the Blessed Virgin, is a great read. And you may have heard of the more popular version these days, 33 Days to Morning Glory, of consecrating ourselves totally to Jesus through Mary. So we've got the Mary investment, Ave Maria, the A and the M, which is the Hail Mary in Latin. So as we begin to celebrate this feast day, surrounded by um, the angels and saints, let's call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed to direct the steps of the priest St. Louis along the way of salvation and the love of Christ in the company of the Blessed Virgin, Grant us by his example that meditating on the mysteries of your love, we may strive tirelessly for the building up of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they crowd out in a loud voice, covered their ears and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out, cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And then, when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into, Into your hands, hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence.
from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you. It was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. People who fall in love with our Lord, people who um, seek after Him with their whole hearts, tend to do some pretty radical things. So today we have, the, from the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we have the first martyr, the first witness who laid down his life um, totally for Christ and offered his blood poured out just as Christ did. St. Stephen, the proto-martyr, and we know generations and generations there have been Martyrs who followed St. Stephen's example, followed Christ's example, and were so radically in love with the Lord that they would rather give up earthly goods to be with him, to be a witness of his love in heaven. But what makes this, what is this? Where does this come from? How can someone be so radical? How can someone be so in love with Jesus that they're willing to, to give up literally everything to be with him? Well, we know it's because that Christ is powerful, and He gives us this power. He's the one who can transform our hearts, can transform our minds, to be totally and completely in love with Him, but He won't force it on us unless we're open to it. He's not going to push us beyond what we can handle. But we're all called to that reckless love for Jesus. We're all called to that reckless abandon, even of our own life, of our own good, like St. Stephen. And we know that um, Saul today in the Gospel uh, was watching. So even if we've had a crazy past, we know what happens with Saul, right? He meets Christ on the road to Damascus, and he becomes even maybe more radical than Stephen, traveling all over the world to preach the Gospel. So it doesn't matter where we've been or what we've done, the Lord wants us to be totally His own. And how does he typically, there, there are many ways the Lord does this. The Lord wins our hearts through prayer, through um, discipleship. But we hear in the gospel today, we've begun the bread of life discourse. More than anywhere else, he does it in feeding us with his own body and blood. He says to the crowd, I am the bread of life. It wasn't Moses, you know, that, that bread was good in the Old Testament. But I truly am the bread of life, because the bread of life is the one that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And so we're hungry for this bread of life, right? Hopefully many of you at home um, are hungering, are longing, are thirsting for this bread that comes down from heaven. The true body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus that we receive here. You know, this weekend was supposed to be First Holy Communion. So I'm sure there are many of you um, youngster, young people out there who are so looking forward to that day, who are so longing for that day. Um, and, you know, the day of First Communion is, is huge. Um, there have been lots of saints who said, well, on that day, 
was the day when I knew my purpose, when I knew my call, when I fully fell in love with Jesus. Um, Saint, just some examples, uh, St. John Paul II, St. Uh, Teresa of Calcutta, St. Therese of Lisieux. St. Therese of Lisieux was so in love on, on the day of her first communion, she wrote this, Oh, how sweet was that first kiss of Jesus. It was a kiss of love. I knew that I was loved and I declared, I love you and I give myself to you forever. And that day was a day of great union. And so, guess what? All of us get an opportunity to make our first Holy Communion again. All of us, because it's been a while, right? Since, since, since we've been able to receive Holy Communion. So let's start preparing our hearts now. Father Faber, uh, in, a, in a book about, the, the, um, about devotional life, says that it only takes one Holy Communion to be a great saint because there's all grace contained in a tiny white host because Jesus is contained in that host, right? So it only takes receiving communion one time to be the very greatest of saints. It's all about how we dispose ourselves, how we approach Holy Communion with love, with big expectations, because the Lord wants to really satisfy us and, and strengthen us and nourish us so that we may reach um, and, and reach out to others. We may reach Him. So the next time you receive Holy Communion will be, every time we receive Holy Communion, should be our first Holy Communion. We should prepare our hearts, we should prepare our minds to meet the Lord and to be transformed, to receive that grace. Hopefully you've used this time um, as a time to hunger and thirst for God and found Him in many ways, I pray. But that hunger and thirst, even more so here for Mass and for the Holy Eucharist, I hope continues to grow in your heart. And oh, what a joy it will be when we get to receive our first Holy Communion again together here in this church. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mindful that the Lord is gracious with his bounty, let us present our needs and petitions. For the church is the body of Christ in the world. May God bless her with purity and unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, may God grant them fortitude to rise above all that divides them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering religious or ethnic persecution, may God protect them from all harm and prejudice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus and its effects, for those working hard to stamp it out, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they find a place in heaven at the eternal banquet of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Jerry Hill, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I invite you now to join your own petitions to this Holy Mass, to mention them at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, we offer these prayers knowing in faith that you will answer them according to your, to your will. We pray through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to <laughs> acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess your, your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, through those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let's pray together our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus, I believe believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never Never permit me to be separated separated from you you again. Amen. Amen. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness on your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, Archangel, defend defend us us in battle. battle. Be our our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May May God God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And And do do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into into hell Satan, Satan, and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's turn to Mary, our mother, and pray three Hail Marys for an end to this virus, for the restoration, health of our families, and restoration of the sacraments. Hail Mary, full Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 